ten years ago in Coverdale, if you wanted to get well, you were sick from drugs and alcohol. Um, I always we use the analogy the plant and food about relevant to there. So if the tree's dying, no one's feeding, no one's watering. What we used to do is used to dig it up, we used to replant it. in recovery which is a community uh, association of local people in recovery we're galvanising themselves and we hope that whatever happens with funding whatever happens with money a bit like it's incredible but that, that still stands and that'll be a true test of the community it's probably at the minute got around about uh, well how many has he got on first bit Michelle how many members about 500 600 mm. uh, 600 mm. members a lot of friends family, and there's probably mm. about 50 people 50 members who are active um, so I don't know how it came about our connection with you, with you guys, Mary. I think uh, that Andy. was through Andy, was it? It was through Andy, but it started, didn't it? So I've with a lot of people we work with. You only know people like themselves. So if you're on a drug and alcohol user, your social network is generally defined by other drug and alcohol yeah. users. So what we're constantly trying to do is let them bri offer bridges into community so that you meet the of this world or people who are passionate about something different. Um, and rather than the community deficits, which very often these people are, we try and make them community assets. And as part of taking from a community, which a lot of us have done for a number of years, we try and give back to that community and that's central. Uh, uh, there's a spiritual element to the programme that we work, uh, but that's central to really us as a project and what we do. Um, so that, again, how many people have been working here, Michelle? I know quite a number of those have been down helping out. Maybe about 12 to 12 different people have yeah. come at different times yeah. to help and to teach yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't ordinary work they did. It was, I think John can say, the worst weather we've most probably <laughs> ever experienced. <coughs> Some of them were in white pumps and it absolutely shut it down. So you should have yeah. seen the state of them. But their spirit was phenomenal. They were so upbeat, they worked really hard, and they were an absolute credit, really. Yeah, and, and we were... Yeah, well they kept it dried up, didn't they? Did they? Absolutely. Yeah, so to the skin. <laughs> but they were, they were great fun. They were great fun. It was really good having their contribution. Yeah. So hopefully this will continue the relationship. We hope to oh, continue. We'll, we're already getting talks about, I know yeah. we have a bit of a spare called in the Todwell Centre, and we're hoping to get Mary and Judy involved in re-galvanising that centre. Yeah. Can't be disappointed with the way it's going initiatives that we felt that um, the trust of its, its attempt to try and get to connect with the communities more rather than just being that piece of water which goes through, through the centre of the village but, um, it was good to do something to make it a nicer and pleasant place and uh, this is an example of it and, uh, it's really great to know that I spend a lot of time with different community groups uh, in different places and, and none of them are as enthusiastic or as uh, vocal or as in volume as well to come along and actually do it because it, it, it's a win-win for everybody. Win-win for the for the for the Canal River Trust and it's a win-win for the, the, the council and and Better Weather and apologies we've got the name of your organisation but I know that working with your guys when we did this it was, it was great. It was good to stop them working. In fact, the, one of the sure. objectives here, of course, was to was to try and make people more aware of the heritage of the canal. We can get the boats for a moment. Sorry, Jenny, I know you're a boat too, but we're thinking about the rest of it, which I think is, yep. to me is, is where the emphasis would be. And then, yeah, when, when these guys came out, girls particularly, is we said, here's an opportunity for you to learn some of the skills like uh, dry stone walling. 
And you say, well, that's not really a dry stone wall, but the principles of how you make a dry stone wall are there. And so we just said to them, here's a pile of stones, and off you go, make them into a wall. And uh, then with Vernon's help over here, the, the local builder developer here, was that have managed to sort of cement them in the top because our original problem was was that uh, people found it quite attractive to come along and throw it into the canal or walk away with them. And so uh, we will say that Vernon and his team's help have managed to sort of stabilise them more so that uh, they'll be around for longer. And then I'm sure is it all the effort that uh, the incredible will we'll put in to keep maintaining the place is that this will just flourish and uh, hopefully, you know, it's not the end, this is one end I guess of, of your stretch and up at uh, where you probably just come from, Library Lock is, uh, is, is, is another one and there's all that section in between which uh, which we'd love to do something like that as well. I want to tell you about our, our initial stage that we tried to do something because it was a negative and benefit, yes. wasn't it? <laughs> we planted all that. I will tell you, Black that, you know, we, we planted all that. these uh, <laughs> these trees along the There's loads of them. wonderful people in the Canal of River Trust that, uh, that come along and sort of cut down all the brambles and all the rest of it. Out came their strimmers and zoop straight down there. Of course these trees and gum and sort of growing, they just disappeared. And so, uh, but we're still friends. However, yeah. we, still we still love, love you, John, <laughs> just the same. Yeah, negative that you turned it into a positive and cemented the relationship even more. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I just want to say one last thing about partnerships, because before our mayor says wise, mayorish words, the, uh, Vernon in the high high vis jacket. Without Vernon, who's the contractor for the, these properties, what's really great is he's he's a smart guy. Not all men are smart, may I say. He's a smart guy <laughs> because he knows that by us, by working together in a partnership, it's win-win for him. It will make his houses look better, and and by working with John the Rivers Trust, the recovery centre with Vernon, and now, are you called John? John, yes. Yeah, Stockport, John. who's purchased... Oh, right. He's in the house. He's coming in that house, oh. and he's got water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got water. And you can't ever let us down, because we're so good at that. You know, you best mate. He's our new best friend, John. We love you, Stockport, wherever you're on the run from. <laughs> So he's just, I just want to say that that's all it is, good people getting together and, be, and, and each giving a little bit, we can make amazing stuff happen. Over to you, dear. Well, I'll follow that. Hey. <laughs>
plots are pulled out and more stones are taken. And then it becomes part of the scenery and people begin to enjoy it. So I do hope that that is what, what is going to happen here. I'm sure it will. Because it looks so much better. Um, and it's something, you know, people need green spaces. They need to look at beautiful things. They need to go, oh, I don't I haven't seen that part before. I wonder what that is. Or I wonder why they're growing thistles. <laughs> so on behalf of Todmorden, for all the people that were involved in this and all the hard work, I would like to thank you because I think this is for the whole of the, of the, uh, of the community, not just for the people who work so hard. And I hope that they will be inspired to get involved because I don't see why not. And they make, you know, and it's a way of making connections and friends. And I think anybody who is in a, in a difficult situation like people who are recovering, need to have the ability, the chance to, it's not the ability to make friends, it's the chance to make friends. Because how, as you say, how do you meet new people? Um, and it's not just people who are in difficulty. Anybody can be in need of meeting new people. And here, in places like, like here, like Incredible Labrador, like all the things that go on in Tottenham, it's far away of meeting new people. I also hope that the volunteers have such great memories of the club that they'll come back again and again and perhaps continue the good work. There's a lot more space on the canal and obviously even more space now that they've come to the do not grow. Yeah. So, again, yeah, thank you very much for inviting me to the um, uh, um, uh,